Hi, my name is Brooke, and today I'm stacking on vegan almond joys and a cup of tea. That was an obsessively loud set for no reason. <laughs> I'm a 21-year-old that just finished a book for a 12-year-old. Judy Bloom is an American author that has written many books dealing with many issues that 8- to 12-year-olds generally face with. Judy Bloom is an American author who is known for her preteen books, dealing with many issues that preteens tend to face. Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret. It's about religion, puberty, and peer relationships. And this book brought up a few different things for me. One, this book really reminds me of where books can take you. It can really transport you into a different mind. It creates characters that you are then attached to it, and thoughts that you wouldn't normally have done. It teaches you lessons and really entertaining. <laughs> it reminded me of a time where I was consumed by those thoughts, consumed by getting my period and kissing boys and growing boobs and it's weird coming out as a 21 year old thinking like, oh yeah, I used to say this stuff. I used to be Margaret. Around this time is when I really started to become my own. I feel like I started developing my own thoughts and my own personality and really started thinking for myself as an Dull. And it was also the time where I really felt horribly about myself. This is when I became really self-conscious about my body, my sexuality, my reading levels, which I read a lot, but I'm not the smartest, and I'm slightly dyslexic. Reading this now really shows, like, oh, those were just things I thought about. They were not real at all, but they felt real at the time. And those restrictions are really up in your mind. Like, even the restrictions I have on myself today are really just in my mind. The third thing, the last thing that this book really reminded me is that Margaret dealt with these issues in the 1970s, meaning that the issues that I dealt with were the same as hers despite the decade that we grew up in. And it really shows that not only this story is timeless, but the things that we deal with as 12-year-olds, everyone deals with. We just kind of have to go through that phase in life and Never look back to it. Actually, look back to it, because then you're reminded of how stupid you were, like I was when I read this. <laughs> Thank you for listening to me and watching um, the recipe for my vegan almond joys, which are, look really disgusting but are really good, will be in the description below. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, or read my blog that I'm really proud of, I would love to have an online friend. At least one, please. Goodbye!